hello welcome to my channel my name is Lisa and today we're going to be working on these fun super fun fabric strips that I have stamped with Tim Holtz stamps lots of colors lots of fun just fill them up with stamps so if you'd like to see how I did these hang on and I'll be right back all right we can get started. So, um, I like I said, I'm using my Tim Holtz stamps. Um, I have them upside down because the glare. I know lots of glare on those too. Um, I have field notes, correspondence, and eccentric. I'll put those to the side for now. Um, I got a couple different block sizes. Um, I have chosen several colors to do this. A um, little bit more neutrals, uh, vintagey kind of colors. So I have uh, sepia, uh, fired brick, so it's more of a red. Um, I have a prize ribbon for a blue coffee, uh, ground espresso for a lighter and darker brown, and then I've got um, um, black soot for black, and then hickory smoke for a gray version. Um, so I'm gonna move these out of the way for a moment, and I'm gonna show you what I did um, for the fabric. So um, I went to Joanne Fabrics, and I got a half a yard of unbleached muslin, and I um, got the 36 inch wide. Now you can get muslin at Joann's in bleached, which is stark white, unbleached, which is this, and then there's a tea dyed, which is um, more of kind of like this color, maybe lighter. Um, it's a smoother finish um, as well as the unbleached is. I, I like the, or I'm sorry, the bleached is a smoother finish. Um, I like the unbleached because it has a little more texture to it. You can actually see there's um, kind of grains in there. Uh, they almost like seeds, pieces of um, brown in there, uh, a little more rustic. So I also got the 36 inch, um, it's the cheapest, it was $2.99 a yard. Uh, I bought half a yard, so I spent a whole dollar fifty, and I'm gonna get a ton of uh, strips out of this. Um, so far, get this out of the way, um, I've been cutting them, and so far um, I've got this much, and this much, so I have this much strip so far <laughs> that I've been working on. Get these back out of the way. All right, um, and I still have these, so I just I didn't want to cut them all to pieces yet until um, I could show you how I did it. Now they're gonna probably cut it with scissors at Joann's. It, it's not gonna be on grain. Um, you can kind of see if you can see the shadow through here when they cut it. Um, in half it was like this and it is off a of grain um, what I do is I take the first piece um, maybe about half an inch and I rip it and I if it doesn't go all the way to the end I'll rip another half inch until I can get the whole thing ripped down and I know that it is then on grain because you want it to be on grain um, for your strips so I'm gonna um, I've been cutting from this one end that I've been ripping from uh, I've been cutting approximately uh, an inch. Now again, it's an eyeball. Snip it and rip it. Don't be afraid to rip it. Once you have that first line established that's straight, they will rip straight consistently um, from beginning to end. Um, so what I'll end up doing eventually is taking all these and ripping them down. Um, like I said, the um, back to the green part. Um, eventually, you can see um, it's gonna be offline and that'll be, I can use probably part of it, uh, but I won't get a full strip out of it. So I'm gonna put that to the side and we're gonna grab this. Now I'm gonna try to pull off, if there's any strings on there that come off the side and get those gone. Um, as I'm working on these, um, a little bit more string will be gone, um, come off of it too, but and it's never gonna fully unravel either, so don't worry about pulling some strings off. Now I also like to, and this is optional, um, there's a thicker salvage end on both ends. Um, I like to cut those off. They use those to mill and weave the fabric um, on their machines, so not necessary. Um, so to make these manageable, I cut them, since they're 36 inches, I cut them into 12 inch strips. So I cut the first one at approximately 12. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then I take the uh, next one, and instead of measuring it to 12, I just fold it in half and give it a snip. 
All right, so I have three sheets, approximately 12 inches. Now, you can see they don't look pretty compared to um, one that I did earlier. All right, so what I did is I take, um, I seem to have, I was working on it earlier. I have to get a new one. Um, I take a baby wipe, you can take a rag, anything that'll hold a little bit of water, um, or you can go iron them. I, I'm just not a fan of bringing out the iron to, to do such a small project. So um, what I do is I have a little water bottle and I'll just throw a little, that was a little more water than I'd like. <laughs> Put some on there. Um, I throw a little water on there and I, with my wet wipe or like I said, a towel, I just brush it upward. And the reason I do that is twofold, as you see. The first one is you get rid of some extra strings on there. And the second one, you can see on this, it makes the uh, edges fluffy. And I like the fluffy edges. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now, I like to brush it upward and then I'll flip it this way. It seems to be easier to brush it upward than trying to brush it downward to me. It's just a preference, it's just how I do it. All right, now this one, definitely a little wetter. So we're gonna get some water on there. And I think I'm gonna start with this end that's a little more folded. So again, if you wanna iron it, you can, but um, you're working on such a tiny little strip here, it's kinda hard to hold it. Um, you can only imagine trying to hold it um, and iron it without burning your fingers. I can't, I can't imagine it. But, uh, okay, this one's flipping this way. Most of them, they flip the same way. Occasionally, they'll flip the other direction. But I just will beat it down. <laughs> beat it till it's straight. All right, so you see that's a little fluffy? All right, move that one. Get my dry pile back on my dry pile, my wet pile. And what's nice about these is as you, because um, they're wet to begin with, then as you add a little water, they stay wet too, so you can kind of squish a little bit of water out of there as you're doing it. So this one I didn't even spray the water, and it is working because I still have quite a bit of uh, wetness in there from being a wet wipe and uh, previous water. All right, get rid of that string. Okay, so that didn't take too long. A couple of those were pretty well um, rolled over, so. Normally I just lay these all to dry. I'm gonna move these to the side um, so they can dry on their own. And I'm gonna start stamping. All right, so I'm gonna grab a couple of my strips. Now there is no right or wrong side to these. Um, they, have, they should pretty much be the same. Um, whichever way they go. All right, so I'm gonna take a stamp that I wanna have a whole bunch of, and I think I like the perfection one. Okay, so what I did before was I opened all the stamps, left my lid above them, so I knew which one they were in the end. Get my water bottle out of the way so I could put them back together into the right spot. Okay. And I need I need a stamp off. Okay, perfection. All right, so all I'm gonna do, I think I'll start from this side, is Stamp 
leave enough room so I can cut it eventually. On that one so we're just gonna we're just gonna take and do the gray there okay those came out nice I like them now let's do a little bit of let's do a little bit of numbers this one's a fun one to do okay all right so does it like it doesn't really matter I'm gonna go this way You could definitely, if you just want brown labels, then by all means, just do brown, whatever color you want. Um, I just like, kind of like the, I probably could have found a green too. Um, I kind of like the Tracy Fox labels. Um, how they have, you know, blues and reds and browns. Are right, you gonna fit? Yeah, you'll fit. Okay. Yeah, fun. Put these a little bit closer. Whoops. Flipped you over. Okay, that was that one, so. I got that one. Okay. get a couple from let's get one from the uh, we do airmail airmail would be fun and depending you know if you wanted to do wider strips to um, do wider things you definitely could I mean these would even actually fit on there uh, the one inch is pretty pretty good size to fit most things um, I don't go too much skinnier because as you're ripping uh, skinnier strips um, they tend to roll more and are harder to, to straighten. Um, so I just like the, the fact that they're a little bigger. They're a little easier to work with, this one inch is uh, just a nice size, I found, to create these. is going to be the end of that one. Now these pretty much dry pretty quickly, so I'm just going to stack them up and get the next couple going here. Alright, so I forgot which airmail I stopped with. <laughs> Alright, so I stopped with uh, airmail light brown. So I need, I need airmail blue. just to show you how that works and uh, let's do special do special delivery I need my bigger my bigger block though yeah we'll do special delivery okay yeah you should have no problem working Now 
I like how it uh, keeps a little bit different texture than when you're doing it on paper. Okay, I'm gonna do this one this way. A little hard to do the bigger blocks that other way. colorful wipe off sheet. <laughs> yeah, you can definitely see that the, the texture of the fabric behind these since it's more of a, a flatter look then like you don't see it as much when you've got the thinner lines. Now there's a subtle difference you can tell, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, between like the sepia and fire brick, but um, definitely has a bit of a difference um, look to them. So, all right, so let's find something tiny that I can put a couple, um, let's find a field notes. Let's do book 710. That's always a fun one to throw on stuff. Okay. Book, book 710. Now, if I recall correctly, a couple of these had some room on here. So I can do finish it off. These are full. Let's see if any of these have some room. Let's see, you're full. You. I'm going to call you full. I don't want to try to just squish it in there. All right, this one was the ones I did before I started the video. So we'll just add that one there. And is there room on this one? Not really. Okay, call that one done. Okay. Occasionally, strings like to come off later <laughs> after they've dried a bit, which is fine. Like I said, it's never going to completely unravel. Um, and every time you pull a string off, it just adds a little bit more fringe to it. Okay, book 710. Let's see, I finished with blue. So we'll throw a red one and a sepia one. Ah, okay. All right, let's do some, do some bigger numbers. 785 is always fun to do. thinking of um, these would be fun to add to tags um, after you cut them apart you could probably you could use some fabric tack to glue them down because they're fabric um, you could staple them there is a lot of these have room um, uh, to be able to use a stapler <clears throat> for them
Okay. All right. Now this is always a fun one to do. But do I want a bigger one? Just a... Okay, so the question is, will this fit? I think it will. All right, I think I'm gonna do this. Probably take a couple sheets to do this, but that'll be okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll save that for a little one later. And we're gonna go ink to stamp, because it is bigger. If you plan on doing this, I would probably use ones that you like to use a lot on things because then you're more likely to uh, use them instead of an actual <clears throat> label. You can pull these as like a fabric label. You don't want to make ones that you don't use a lot and then just have them sit there. Gonna take the stamp off. Don't want to do that. Just want to restamp, reink. All right, I got a little room for a little stamp there. Hopefully it looked like it felt like that slid a little bit. Hopefully we're okay. I think we're okay. All right, and sepia. I don't know why my hand won't want to turn it over. <laughs> Got a peeled paint green one. I'm gonna see what this one looks like. I didn't when I picked those colors when I did my sample. I didn't think about the fact that there was green ones in the Tracy Fox label, so that's like a pretty popular color, and well, and I love it. Okay. Just gonna do one more here, a little one, just because um, I don't want to bore you to death stamping. Um, but I just also wanted to put not put it on such a big stamp. <laughs> All right, I do 1913, and there's so many of them I use so often. Like it's hard to it's hard to choose which one is my favorite. All right. 1913. Oh, yeah, that's cute. And I think I can fit one more over here. I mean, you can see, like, how fun 
those are. All right, let's grab one more and finish my 1913. Like I said, it probably would be a lot faster if you decided you just wanted to do all one color because you could probably then um, stamp it and maybe like stamp it again for a lighter version of it instead of having to stamp off in between each time. I probably could have even done them like this way. I'm going to do that one again because seem to get a little wacky. Okay. I like the telephone number one too. Well, we'll do that one and then we're calling it done. My promise. But yeah, telephone's fun. This one's really wide. Maybe I'll find one that's a little. I guess they're. I guess they're all pretty wide. Okay. We're gonna go this way. I just want to keep going. Funny, one black, one off is very similar. All right, we're just going to finish off this sheet. Okay. All right. That is going to be it. I'm not going to bore you with any more. Um, but you can see how many that we got done here. Just tons of them and I still have put these back together I still have tons of sheets left uh, plus the um, oh, three that are drying that I did off camera or on camera for you and then I plus I have that um, oh there it is plus I still have probably a good number one two three four five probably another six more sheets so eight 18 um, 18 more strips um, in that half a yard. So for $1.99 for half a yard, and if you use a coupon, 40% <laughs> off coupon, that'll take like 80 cents off. So it'll be like $1.19. Like how can you go wrong for uh, like $1.19 um, and just get so many? So, well, I hope you enjoyed that video. I, I surely enjoyed making it. I hope I didn't bore you too much on my stamping craziness. Um, I think I'm going to keep these out because I think I'm just going to keep stamping here. <laughs> um, uh, but I hope I inspired you to uh, create some of these. Uh, they are definitely going to be um, fun to do um, and fun to use. I didn't show you how I cut one off here. So just going to go ahead and... Um, now you can snip and rip on these if you want to, um, but you can also just... Um, Go ahead and, uh, what do you want to call it? Uh, fringe them after you're done, um, if you want to. And 
then just go ahead and add that to um, a tag. Oh, uh, I can grab one here. Come on, my staple that on. Tape, uh, glue that on. Fun. I just happened to grab that one. It's not necessarily what I would put it on, but um, yeah, fun stuff. So, all right. Well, that is going to be it for today's video. As usual, um, if you like the video, a thumbs up would be great. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Um, I do have my uh, tag it, uh, tag your it video coming up shortly, and I'll probably will end up using uh, some of these in them because these are fun. And um, if you want to see those kind of videos, please subscribe to my channel so you can see those um, in the future. As usual, thank you so much for coming by, and have a wonderful and creative day. Bye now.